So there's this show called The Bachelor you may have heard of. Sean Lowe was the bachelor of season 17. He quickly fell for Tiara, and just as quickly she became the season villain. When he took Tiara on a group date, along with other girls, she was not happy. Tiara ended up falling and breaking both of her wrists. She suffered a collie's fracture in one wrist and a Smith's fracture in the other. She was put in a seat collar and placed on a backboard and taken to the hospital. Anything for those reality TV ratings. When she arrived at Cedar sinai Medical Center, she was examined by the ER physician who ordered x-rays of her wrist. Tiara was nervous and scared, so the radiology technologist, Derek, thoroughly explained the exam to calm any fear she had. He explained to her the concept of Alara, which stood for as low as reasonably achievable, and he also had her wear a lead apron and lead thyroid shield to protect her from scatter radiation. Derek also made sure to verify that Tiara was not pregnant. Tiara still seemed very anxious, so Derek decided to help calm her nerves by telling her about radiography equipment operation quality assurance. He found that talking about such topics tended to help calm patient nerves, and sometimes even put them to sleep. He explained to her how automatic exposure control worked, and the difference between CR and DR image receptors. How grids were used to absorb scatter radiation, and how he could post-process the images on a display monitor after they had been acquired. After about five minutes of this, Derek finally noticed that Tiara looked calm and relaxed, possibly even comatose. Derek explained to Tiara that he would need to take three images of her wrist, which included a PA, an oblique, and a lateral image. Derek quickly and efficiently took all three images of the wrist and took a second look over each one before sending them off to the radiologist. For the PA projection, Derek had made sure to place the central ray perpendicular to the mid-carpal area and collimated two and a half inches proximal and distal to the wrist joint. He also had Tiara flex her fingers to reduce OID between her wrist and the image receptor. The oblique showed perfect angulation of 45 degrees with a well-shown trapezium and the distal half of the scaphoid and open trapezio trapezoid and scapho trapezial joint space. For the lateral projection, Derek had Tiara flex her elbow 90 degrees to rotate the ulna to the lateral position and place the radial surface against the image receptor. The lateral image showed the distal radius and ulna to be superimposed as well as superimposition of the metacarpals. Technique had been adjusted to ensure that radiographic density was similar in all three images. After looking all over the images, Derek felt confident that Dr. Hugh Lurie would approve all the images he had taken. Before Derek sent Tiara on her way back to the ER, he asked if she had any questions for him, and he gave her a card with the radiology department's contact information, as well as his name so she could speak with him directly if she later had any questions or concerns. The images confirmed that Tiara had both a Smith's and a Collie's fracture. Each wrist was realigned and placed in a cast, which she would have to wear for the next six weeks. Tiara then returned back to the Bachelor Mansion. Unfortunately, because of her cast, she wasn't able to participate in the daily pool parties, so Sean sent her home. Fortunately for Tiara, she had saved the contact card Derek had given her, and she called him up. She quickly fell for Derek and his excellent aid at skills, and they lived happily ever after. Created using Powtoon.